In this video, I will show you how to delete a python virtual environment in PyCharm IDE and to hit the like button if you find the video useful. Now the virtual environment deletion will be a two step process and you might already be aware that each virtual environment has its own python interpreter. So in the first step, we will remove the corresponding interpreter references from the PyCharm IDE and in the second step, we will remove the virtual environment itself. The first step is necessary to avoid any configuration issues because if we directly remove the virtual environments then our PyCharm will still have a reference to the known existent virtual environments which can cause errors and warnings when we try to run our project. So we will remove the interpreter first and then in the second step we will delete the virtual environment itself. So to remove the interpreters first we will open up any python project in PyCharm like I have opened this sample project. Now you would see this option in the bottom right corner of PyCharm where either the current interpreter would be selected or no interpreter would be written. You would see no interpreter in case there is no interpreter configured for the opened project. Now we need to click on this which will open up a list of different options here and among these we will select this interpreter settings which will open up this pop-up window and here this python interpreter would be selected already. Now we will click on this drop down which will show up a list of all interpreters which are currently exist in our system and in this drop down we will select the last option which is this show all option. This will open up one more pop-up window for us and here in the left panel we will have all the interpreters and these are the options from where we can manage these interpreters. From here we can add any new interpreter and from this option we can remove the selected interpreter. So let's say we want to remove this interpreter which is corresponding to the sample project but before removing this interpreter we will copy this interpreter path and keep it somewhere because this would be required while deleting the virtual environment. And after keeping this path I will select this and click on this remove icon. Finally I will click on this apply and ok. Now if I click on this drop down then you would observe that the sample project interpreter is removed from this drop down as well. And if we want to associate any other interpreter from this list with our current project then we can select that and then we can click on apply and ok. But for now we do not want to associate any other interpreter with our sample project so I will just click on cancel here. Now you would see no interpreter here in the bottom right corner. So the interpreter is deleted. Now it's time to delete the virtual environment also. So in case it is present inside the project itself like me then we can remove that from PyCharm only. So we can just right click on this and say delete. Click on delete here as well. But if the virtual environment is not present in the current project folder then we can use the path of the interpreter which we had kept in the step 1 and we just need to locate that folder in the finder and then just move that virtual environment directory to bin that is all we need to do for deletion of virtual environments. Let me know in comments if this video was helpful to you.